Okay, so in the previous clip, I explained a little bit the uh, genesis of this analysis, exploratory data analysis. Uh, I'd mentioned um, and discussed a little bit the Manel, Tuttle, Brown, McEnany data set. Uh, we had set the data up in this Google Colab. We had uploaded the data to the content folder. We had installed Tidyverse R. We had uh, implemented, we had read the data into our, our environment. We had set up a glimpse. Then using the same data set in Google Colab, we had run uh, some Python code over the data, got some descriptive statistics and finished up with a correlation matrix. Now we're going to, to manipulate a little bit the data so that in R, in the R environment, uh, they get rid of the, there was a misspelling uh, here for condominium and the, the, the label is a bit uh, uh, big uh, in terms of space. So we'll use some base R commands, not tidyverse here to fix that. And then when we run our data set, you can see that we have changed. Um, and we just look at the head here. We've changed condominium to condo, right? condominium now has been altered and we have relabeled it as condo. Okay, so that's that's a, a nice uh, manipulation. And then uh, we set to work at looking at maybe some of the factors here uh, that uh, are strongly related to uh, the mortgage approval, mortgage denial, and will also address the issue. What's the prima facie evidence to suggest that race is important. First point we'll note is we'll use some R tidyverse commands, uh, uh, the plier commands, which is a package in the tidyverse suite. Uh, we'll filter the data to select, to select uh, those rows where the deny mortgage uh, um, insurance is yes and then we'll summarize so we're we're if you like we're filtering out just those individuals who are denied their mortgage insurance uh, and then we get the summary here brings up summary statistics and you can see here uh, for uh, only those that have denied mortgages are available here uh, there's only 48 in total who have uh, whose mortgages were denied um, and if your mortgage was denied, basically, sorry, if your mortgage insurance was denied, uh, then the bulk of individuals uh, whose mortgage insurance was denied were also denied uh, their mortgage. So if you didn't get mortgage insurance, uh, you probably weren't going to qualify to get the mortgage. Only four here, four exceptions to that. Okay, so. Uh, denied mortgage insurance looks like a very important determinant. Only a, ver a very small number of people were denied mortgages, 48 out of the 2,000 and uh, 80, uh, 80, 2,381. So it's a very small minority, but those who were denied mortgage, mortgage insurance uh, were, were typically denied their mortgage. Okay. Uh, then uh, we look at the very central question of race and how does that um, affect uh, mortgage lending. So if we bring up a summary of the HDMA, so this is the entire data set. And we can take a look. Um, uh, the statistics are interesting. Uh, we can see here that the minimum value for the credit score is one, the maximum is six. For mortgage credit scores, the minimum value is one, the maximum is four. Uh, the number of people who had a uh, public uh, bad credit record was 175 out of the, the 2,300. Um, so as a minority, we, we, we also, from the previous uh, summary uh, uh, filtered uh, command, um, we, we were able to identify only 48 in total were uh, denied um, uh, mortgages, yes. Uh, but um, so uh, 2,333 obtained mortgage insurance. So only a few, a small percentage of overall um, of the sample 
or refused mortgage insurance. Uh, when we look at minorities here, so this is African Americans and Hispanics, uh, 333 uh, were Black or Hispanic. Uh, otherwise, uh, 2042 um, would say white. So less, a little bit more than 10% here are in the belong to the minor, minority groups, and then mortgage denial about a little bit over 10%, close to, uh, yeah, a little bit over 10%. In fact, we can do a quick, so mortgage denial here, if we look at denial, we can go into Python and uh, we, if we take that 285, 285 and divide it by the 2096. If we run that, we can see slightly over 10%, 13% were denied mortgages. Now, if we filter this, if we drill down into this uh, data and say, let's just filter. So we take the HDMA uh, data set and we identify the minorities and then put into an uh, object and then run the same summary statistics. And if we look at the number of individuals who were denied mortgages, who are part of the uh, minorities, let's take a look at that. So it's 90 six uh, people out of the minorities, right? Out of, um, in fact, what we could say is, this is more race, so maybe uh, to get this race, it's 285 out of the entire population of uh, 285. So if we run that, we can see out of the entire population, it's 11%, right? So if you take the entire group, add both those who are denied mortgage, so denied mortgage, yes, not denied mortgage, so accept that their mortgage was approved. We add those, that's the total of the sample, and divide into the numbers who were refused mortgage. That's about 11% of all applicants were refused mortgage. But then when we look at uh, the totals who uh, for minority groups, what proportion of those were refused mortgage, then we take the 243 and we add in uh, 96 and then we estimate that and we find that 28% of that population were 28% uh, were denied mortgage. So that's already uh, suggesting that there's a very significant difference between the overall population, how they're treated, and then the minorities. Um, twice as many uh, are being refused mortgage as the entire population. Now we can run this again for just uh, those who are not minority. So black no means non-minority applicants. And again, go into Google Colab and present the analysis uh, using Python then. Um, we, in the, this Python notebook, because Google Colab is a Python notebook, take the entire group, 1,853. So this is just the white population, uh, the majority, let's say, and 189. And we run that, and if we look at their refusal, the percentage of those who refused mortgage is just 9%. In the African American, in the Hispanic and African American population, 28. And overall, it's 11, almost 12%. So there's quite a disparity there. There's prima facie evidence here to suggest that there is discrimination uh, based here along uh, racial uh, lines. Uh, so uh, we could, other ways of looking at this is uh, to graph in the ggplot2, that's also part of tidyverse. Um, we can see, look, only 11% or so are refused uh, mortgage. Um, we want to break that down so that we look at uh, minorities, yes, um, and uh, the rest of the population. And we can see here that a disproportionate number of the 
uh, those who are not approved mortgage are coming from the minorities. Um, is that something to be concerned about? Well, if we look at the NI, uh, 285 uh, were refused mortgage, uh, 2096 were approved for mortgage. Um, and when we run through the numbers there, we can see uh, the evidence, the weight of evidence is suggestive that there is discrimination. What we've ignored here is uh, maybe there are other risk measures. If we do a quick pivot table here, now what this pivot table, the way we set it up, take the HMDA data set and then group by, uh, are you, uh, by race and then look at um, uh, deny and then count. So we can summarize some of the um, uh, baseline statistics this way. But the, I, I think the real um, uh, uh, figures here that really demonstrate uh, maybe we have to address this issue in terms of racial discrimination uh, is just in the headline statistics. 28% uh, of uh, African Americans were refused mortgage. Uh, sorry, twenty-eight percent of minorities. So that's his African Americans and Hispanics were refused mortgage, and otherwise for the rest of the population, it was nine percent. Um, question then we've got to ask is: Were there other issues in terms of credit risk that can explain this uh, somewhat better? and perhaps race is correlated with uh, credit risk is issues and maybe we should look at those before we draw any uh, strong conclusions in terms of uh, racial bias in terms of the lending practices of banks. Okay, 